Ali, what about um, a report by Amnesty International, which was released today, uh, suggesting, in fact, that uh, the Nigerian military may have committed war crimes against the people in that part of Nigeria, where, of course, uh, there are military activities. That report indicates that as many as 7,000 young men and boys may have been killed or may have died in the hands of the military. And the military has, um, you know, predictably come out to deny that, uh, describing that report as biased. And uh, this report is likely to generate even more interest in the role that the military has played in this Boko Haram saga. You know, the military has always been under some sort of... Um, uh, kind of focus, if you will, uh, for the role, for the suspected role that they played. And also there is the issue of corruption in addition to these uh, new charges brought about by the Amnesty International. So I expect that this new report from the Amnesty International uh, Human Rights Group is likely to uh, make the job of fighting Boko Haram even harder because if the focus is now uh, on the investigation of senior military officers, which have been named within the report, then, um, you know, the focus will shift uh, a little bit away from the fight against Boko Haram back to the military and its role, uh, past, present, and future, you know, in terms of this fight. Well, thank you very much, uh, Ali Mustafa, for your interesting uh, report. And uh, enjoy some fruits of democracy, but make sure that you bring some and share them with us here back in Washington.